Hello everyone, this is Shriyang Kim again. I am a container specialist solutions architect at Amazon Web Services, and this is a series of lightning talk on ECS and Fargate. Previously, we explored the essential of ECS, focusing on cluster, service, and task. Today, we will pivot our focus to AWS Fargate, examining what it is and its key characteristics. AWS Fargate is a serverless environment for containers, which is fully managed by AWS. And once your ECS cluster prepared, Fargate offers option when deciding on the computing resources for hosting your ECS task. You can choose either container instance, which means EC2 instance, or AWS Fargate. Also, you can get the flexibility to utilize a mix of both within a single ECS cluster. With Fargate, AWS takes on the management for any underlying infrastructure. Therefore, managing EC2 AMI is not required. Second, its dedicated resources per ECS task enhances security by default. To be precise, each Fargate task has its own isolation boundary and does not share the underlying resources such as kernel, CPU memory resources, or network interface with other ECS tasks. And with Fargate, Customers only get charged for tasks that they run. It's varied cost options like um, savings plans and spot. Also, the availability to assign resources per ECS task can increase resource utilization compared to EC2, and that leads to cost savings. Since a single Fargate corresponds to a single ECS task, it is mandatory to define the task's CPU and memory as demonstrated in the bottom of the sample ECS task definition right on the screen. However, when deploying ECS tasks on EC2 instance, specifying the resource for ECS task becomes optional. Last year, we increased the compute and memory resources configuration by four times. Therefore, you can configure ECS task up to 16 virtual CPU. The network mode for ECS Fargate is restricted to the AWS VPC mode. As I mentioned in previous ECS task video, AWS VPC mode assigns a network interface to each ECS task, which enable each task's security group mapping or enable gathering traffic information using VPC flow logs. But as every Fargate utilizes IP, it is crucial to allocate enough room during designing your VPC and subnet. The auto-scaling for ECS Fargate is relatively simpler than ECS with EC2. For EC2 instance, you need to consider not only the ECS service auto-scaling, but also the auto-scaling of the container instance when it comes to not enough compute resources to provision ECS tasks. However, with Fargate, only ECS service auto-scaling needs to be considered and that means you can decrease the burden of operating infrastructure. Like always, let's move to the ECS console and create simple ECS Fargate service. I am currently on the test definition page. Click the create new test definition button. And name for the task definition like nginx um, task. 
In ECS, the basic unit of a deployment is a task that has one or more containers. Since we will focus on creating simple Fargate service, I am going to use official Nginx image for this demo. Um, and then um, use the container port AD because the Nginx web server listens to all incoming connection on that port. We will use AWS Fargate and x86 architecture. For the task size, allocate one virtual CPU and two gigabyte memory and leave other configuration by default. Click the next button and check all configuration that we made and click the create button. Let's move to the ECS cluster for creating an ECS service. Click the Create button and check launch type is AWS Fargate. And in terms of application type, please check uh, it we choose service. Find the Nginx task in family section and select revision number, which is latest one. After that, specify service name like Nginx um, service. Also, write down a desired number of tasks to 3 for the availability. Open the networking section. Assign the VPC and subnet for the ECS tasks placement. Um, in this demo, we will choose ECS Blueprint Infra VPC. Also, we will choose um, only public subnet so it can communicate directly with the internet. And then um, select existing security group, which name is Web Server Security Group. <laughs> to allow traffic to flow through AD port. We use a pre-made security group for the shake of time and then create ECS service. Wait for the provisioning time. You can also check uh, its progress in CloudFormation webpage. Mm, click the Nginx service and then click the task tab. Choose one of the ECS tasks and click the public IP. You can see default Nginx page draw this public IP. This is all I have to share today. Please keep in mind Fargate's key characteristics and how to create ECS service with Fargate. If you have any questions or feedback, drop me a line. Thanks to watch Lightning Talk on ECS and Fargate. See you next time.